Hi guys, how are you doing? Yeah, thank you for watching this tutorial. And I'm going to show you how you can carry out image classification using deep learning or whatever I would call it. Actually, one of these days I was looking through the internet. I landed on a very, very nice library for, 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 for object detection and image recognition tasks. I want to give credit to these guys. This guy is called Moses Olafenwa and John Olafenwa for whatever they did to simplify our tasks. Actually, from then, now deep learning is no longer hard. Image recognition is no longer hard. I just use any network I want to use to do any particular classification I want. So, before I dive into the story, yeah, I would like to give a brief introduction about this library. So, as you, you could see, uh, if you wanted to do any, any, any image recognition task, you can train your own network or you can use an existing network so what these guys did they built image ai and then they incorporated all the what you could need to do your image classification tasks so i'm going to show you how you can install image ai the first thing you should do is to download and install anaconda yeah me i use anaconda for my coding so you need to have anaconda installed on your computer and then after installing anaconda use the anaconda prompt and then install tensorflow yeah after installing tensorflow you go on and install opencv after installing opencv install keras after installing keras install numpy but as you may know numpy already comes in the anaconda version so you may not need to even opencv comes with anaconda when you install anaconda you have opencv and then afterwards you have to install what image ai yeah i'll give you a link to this i'll give you a link to this so that you can use it so with that before you begin this tutorial make sure you have installed tensorflow opencv keras numpy and image ai so and then i prepared the folder where i've put my images and then i've put some models inside here so after installing after installing that the other thing you have to do is to come and you come and visit the documentation for for image recognition and then when you visit the documentation you'll have everything at your disposal you just have to read and then implement what they have told you as you can see you can carry out object recognition using the squeeze net the raise net inception or the, 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 the dense net model what you have to do is to download any model you want and then put it anywhere in your computer you can get it and then you begin doing your image prediction so let's dive into the tutorial yeah so um i've already written the code and i'll share it with you and i'll give you a link to that code just understand the code and then from there you can also do your own image prediction so remember we have downloaded and installed image ai so the first thing we should do is to import image ai so the first code is from image ai dot prediction remember we installed image ai and then we are now calling the prediction module of the image ai library so from image ai prediction the prediction import image prediction so then the next thing is to import the libraries okay we are going to use you import numpy and then import peel and then also matplotlib so and then after remember we have imported image prediction so we are going to create an instance called prediction and then we call it image prediction and then 
remember from this tutorial uh, from 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 this documentation they have shown us that you can do image recognition using four pre-trained models which they have incorporated in the image AI what library so the first thing you should do is to now we've created an instance called prediction then after that we say we set the model type remember these are already pre-trained models you can set it at any model you want among these for either DeskNet, inception resnet or squeeznet so me i'll use resnet so the first thing you should do after doing this you say prediction dot set model type as resnet so if you want to use squeeznet you just put here as what as squeeznet squeeznet something like that yeah so there after you say prediction dot set model path you set the, the path to your model where you've stored your model. Ideally, it would be good to work under the same folder where you've put your notebook. As you see, this is my notebook I'm working on. And so I've created a model folder and then that's where I've put the, the, the what? The pre-trained model I downloaded from this link. Uh, here is the link where I downloaded the resonate. Yeah, I'll share it with you in the comment section so uh, then after setting the model type you set the model path so for instance in my case I've set it under the folder name model and then this is the name resnet 50 so then after you say you load the model using prediction dot load model yeah you can use any name you want but me I've use the one which is in the docs which is prediction so after that make sure you run and then for simplicity i've created a a string for for, for for to hold my image file and then i'm let me give you a look at these images where are they where are they where are they moment yeah so these are my images we are going to carry out recognition on like four of them the first one is this as you let me try to increase the size and then you can extra large icons yeah so as you can see this is an airbus a380 so for our first task we are going to see if this pre-trained model can help us recognize this so Actually, I named it as A, but you may choose any other name you want. So, for my first image, I'll call it A.jpg. Yeah, this, uh, I'm just holding this. This, I'm using image as uh, a container for, 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 for my what? For, 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 for my image. But ideally, you can even copy this and put it here so remember so this is the syntax of the model when you say predict remember we created an instance called prediction so you want to predict prediction dot predict image and then it takes two parameters it takes the the the, the prediction dot predict images and then you must give in two parameters that is the name of the image the image and then how many classes do you want so me i want let me take let me first take 10 classes 10 classes so i run that once i run that we give it some time depending on your computer speed and then remember i have prediction and then probabilities so i'll first print predictions when I print predictions, you see the predictions, and then let me print probabilities. Probabilities, probabilities. Let me just copy this. Probabilities. So, what does this mean? From this code, it will give you ten classes from what you specified ten, and then it will give you 
each prediction, the, 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 the probability that that class is what they are predicted for 10 classes. As you can see, we have 10 probabilities for 10 what? For 10 predictions. So, yeah, that is it. But remember, we have to visualize a what? And then see what we have done. So, we use NumPy to, to, to we use NumPy matplotlib to visualize. So, what what I'll do first is to open this image. I'll say image. Dot, I'll use Python peel, peel, Python imaging library to open that image. So, I'll say x is image dot open. This is p. Then what am I opening? Image. Where is image? It is here. This is the the, the, the container I created to hold my image. So uh, x is that, and then I'll plot it using what? Matplotlib. And then from there, I'll do, I, I, I would like on top of this image to show the prediction and then the probability of the prediction. Remember that we have 10 predictions, but the, the, high, the one with the highest probability is what we take as the class of the image. Yeah. So that done, I want to predict two more, two more, two more. Let me try to predict this cut. So I'll just come and change my source code here, and then I, I just come and say cut dot jpg, and then I'll copy this here, and then I'll paste it here. Yeah, I'll paste it there, and then I'll change my classes to let me take five. Yes. And then, as you can see, we have five classes, and then we can also see our probabilities. So, as you can see, Tiger Cut has the highest probability, followed by Egyptian Cut. And then we shall go on to visualize our output. So, as you can see, this is the, the, the probability, the highest prediction is that this is a Tiger Cut. And the probability is 41.38 percent yeah so what else what else can we do let me have a look at let me have a look what else? okay let me try this let me name this formula one let me name it formula so when i go this side i'll just put formula dot jpg let me see uh let us have a look at the probabilities it will output oh wow Maybe I give it a wrong name. What spelling have I used for formula? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Formula. 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 It's a spelling issue. There is no R. So I'll do it this way. Yeah. I think it's now fine. So that's, those are predictions. Then we have eraser. The probability that it's eraser, it is 30.4. And then let us have a look at this. As you can see, it is a racer. Yeah, it's a racer. Yeah, and then uh, the probability it is thirty point four four two. Yeah. So let me try to visualize this bird. This bird. Mm, okay. My image will be bird. Bird spelling of bird dot jpg. Actually, it's a PNG image, PNG. So, uh, okay, I have a look. So, from the prediction of the ResNet, this it's telling us that this is a goldfinch, and the probability that it is is 97.9555. So, as you can see, using the image AI, Image classification is no longer a hard thing. So, 
in case you have anything you'd like to know more just follow us subscribe to this channel i'll be putting up more tutorials on object detection image classification machine learning and watch out for our next tutorial about uh, image detection